Beijing blasting Secretary of State Antony Blinken's China speech, insisting that China was, is, and will be a defender of international order. Eunice Yoon joins us with more on this. Eunice, this is uh, just the latest in the back and forth we've heard this week. Yeah, that's right, Becky. Uh, China's accusing Secretary Blinken of exaggerating the China threat and the U.S. of attempting to contain China in an attempt to maintain its own world order. And the foreign ministry today said that there is no room for compromise on issues that it considers to be internal affairs, uh, such as Taiwan. A Chinese state media today have been arguing that President Biden's recent remarks when he was out here in Asia suggesting that the U.S. would militarily intervene on Taiwan's behalf, uh, quote, removed any ambiguity on how the U.S. would react in the event of a cross-straits war. Now, the official press has also been calling the U.S. hypocritical for saying it doesn't want a new Cold War while creating alliances, which China says excludes China and what Beijing describes as a clique. Now, at the same time, the Chinese foreign minister is on tour in the South Pacific. He's trying to drum up support for a 10-nation economic and security pact among small Pacific island nations. Uh, some have shown support, others not so much. Uh, only days before the foreign minister is set to arrive in Fiji, uh, that country announced that it is going to sign on to President Biden's economic plan for the region. Becky? You know, it raises more questions than anything else, Eunice. It just how do companies sort of navigate this right now? It definitely feels like things are amping up and ramping up. Um, do you hear anything back from American companies that do business there, what they think about all of this? Well, I think a lot of companies here are starting to see that the tensions are rising and that the issue of Taiwan uh, now is something that they might have to consider uh, when they are, uh, you know, considering their risks of being in China. So in the past, uh, China has always been seen as a sensitive issue. It's always kind of been been out there as a as a potential risk between the U.S. and China relations. But it's only been in the recent in in the past couple of years, and then of course more recently this year, that um, I'm hearing more uh, executives say that they are kind of running through scenarios as to what they should do um, if there is um, a tension that eventually leads to an accidental conflict. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.